What is Windows 10 end of service? Why you're being alerted about it and what to do. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for askleo.com where I've been answering questions about Windows, well, since 2003 and Windows 10, of course, for the last five years. If you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, by all means, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure that you get every video that I release throughout the week. And of course, at the end of the video, if you find this particularly helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Both of those things, subscribing and hitting thumbs up, actually help other people find the answers they're looking for when they search on YouTube. So when Windows 10 was released, gosh, over five years ago now already, um, there was a statement made that it would be supported on current hardware, quote unquote, forever. Um, I may have gotten the wording wrong specifically. Um, heck, I may be misremembering, but that certainly was a bold statement back then. And I think it's something that a lot of people latched on to. Windows 10 was not only going to be the last version of Windows, but it was also going to keep working on all your machines. It's still the last version of Windows. There is no plan for a Windows 11, but they've backed off a little bit on this concept of working, quote unquote, forever. Forever is now apparently 18 months. So you may end up with a warning that the 18 months on your version of Windows 10 is about to expire. Let me show you first where to look for that version information so that you know what we're talking about. This is my Windows 10 home machine. I'm right clicking on the start button and then clicking on system. In system, you'll see that there is this edition. I'm running Windows 10 Home on this machine. And the version number, this is 20H2. Now, the versions for Windows 10 are kind of weird. I know that I've always kind of considered Windows 10 to be the version. There was Windows 8, that was version. And Windows 10 is the first version after version 8.1, actually. That's not how it works anymore. Windows 10 is Windows 10, and there are lots of different versions of it. Home or Pro is the edition, but the version is a number, or in this case, a number and a letter. What it refers to is the year and month, or in this case, half year, that it was intended to be released. So 20H2 means that this version of Windows 10 was released in the second half of 2020. The previous version, 2004, was intended to be released in April of 2020. Now, of course, it didn't hit the streets until a little while after that, and I think that's why they're switching to this half-year nomenclature so that they're not being continually reminded that they just can't make the dates. But you get the idea. The previous versions before 2004 were 1909, September of 2019, 1903, March of 2019. You get the idea. So these versions of Windows 10 are what last for 18 months. Each one of those will be supported for 18 months. So that means that if you are running, say, that older one, the 1809 version, well, it's past 18 months since that was released, it's not supported anymore. Now, what Microsoft will tell you is that your Windows machine, your Windows 10 machine, will keep running Windows 10 and be supported as long as you keep updating. In other words, as long as you take each new version within 18 months of it coming out. For most people, and that's actually okay. For most people, machines can handle it. And those machines that can't usually age out at some point for other reasons. However, this is where things get sticky. Like I say in the article, all current hardware is now, well, not. We have encountered situations where Windows 10's latest update, latest version, will not install on some machines because 
it no longer supports the hardware contained on those machines. Exactly what that is I varies depending on the machine and the version of Windows. But the bottom line is that while we in a way we were kind of assured that we would be able to update Windows 10 on our machines forever, that's not necessarily true. At some point, it is possible to update to a version of Windows 10 and then not be able to update past that anymore because of a hardware incompatibility. That version then will only be supported for 18 months since its release date. Once that 18 months passes, people who are unable to upgrade beyond that version, they're kind of out of luck. There's nothing really that they can do. It's unfortunate, but in a lot of ways, it's really no different than the way Windows has been handled for decades. At some point, Windows versions do update, whether it's a version update from 95 to XP or from Windows Vista to Windows 7. Now we're kind of looking at the same kind of updates from Windows 10 version to version. And in the past, yep, sometimes new versions of Windows had features or something that would prevent them from being installed on older hardware. That hasn't changed. And in fact, it's become a little bit more apparent now with Windows 10 since we're all running just Windows 10. So that's what's going on. What can you do? What do you do if you get the warning that your machine is nearing the end of support for the version of Windows 10 you're running? Well, you have really only two options. One, of course, is to update to a more recent version of Windows 10. That's the preferred thing. In fact, that's what I would obviously recommend for everybody who possibly can. You'll get the latest features, but more importantly, you'll get the latest security updates. You'll be taken care of again for another 18 months after the release date of the new update, whichever update it is you take. However, if you can't, or if you choose not to, well, there you actually have two options. The first option is to carry on. Be as safe and secure as you can. Live with the fact that your version of Windows 10 is no longer supported and potentially miss out on various updates, both features and potentially security. Windows 7 people have been doing this now for a while. It's fine. It, it can be done safely, but you just have to be extra cautious. And of course, the other approach is to, to the extent that you can, maybe identify what hardware incompatibility is preventing Windows 10 from installing on your machine. And if you can't, well, maybe, just maybe, it's time for a new machine. That's a decision only you can make. I hope this was helpful. For related links for any updates and, of course, for comments left by others, visit askleo.com slash 127897. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.